It's a very bad situation. I, just last year we had 186 foreclosures out of 477 civil cases. And I think this year we've had 13 new civil cases, and I would say probably eight of those have been foreclosures. So it's almost every day we have new foreclosure cases. So very serious. So you probably have plenty of people uh, that come in uh, looking for assistance, they have plenty of questions, right? If, if they actually come in the office, we can give them the number for Southeast Ohio Legal Services or Save the Dream. I also have a flyer that I send in all foreclosure cases that has the phone number for Save the Dream. If they come in here wanting paperwork, we can give them motion. We can give them, a, give them an example of how to file an answer. Unfortunately, there's a fine line between helping and giving legal advice, and we cannot give legal advice. So we give them documents that they, they can fill out if they can't afford an attorney, and they can still contact Southeastern Ohio Legal Services for their help also. Would you say there's a certain mentality that Appalachians have uh, about asking for help? I think a lot of folks are embarrassed to ask, and a lot of it too I, I, would, I would blame on the, financial, the finance companies because they make these payments so high on these houses that there's no way, I mean, if one person loses a job, that they just can't afford the house payments. But I think people are ashamed and afraid to ask for help, yes. What services can your organization provide uh, to these people who have you know, been warned about foreclosure and they don't know what to do next? We always say get an attorney because that, that can really slow down the process and help you work out payments. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of sales are vacated because they have gotten an attorney and they've reached a settlement. A lot of them are dismissed because they work out a payment plan with the finance company. So there is all kinds of help out there if they will ask. And that's the big first step. That's the first step is, is consulting an attorney or asking for help, yes, yes. Also, I'm sure there's a trust issue. You mentioned uh, predatory lending. Uh, is predatory lending a problem in Athens? It's rarely a local bank that we do foreclosures on because they do everything possible to work it out with the defendants. It's, no, it's, it's, it's never the local banks. Uh, with the whole uh, borrower outreach days, uh, what's, what's next for Save the Dream? Are there going to be more of those days? I think this year we're going to do some more things. The problem is, is getting the information out. It's just, I mean, we do send the flyer. Um, last year we did have some free mediation, which we lost because we lost our funding and it was not renewed for this year. So now we are building up our mediation fund so we can do that again, but that's going to take a little time to do that. We, we raised some filing fees on civil cases to build up some monies to pay for the mediation program, yes. It's just a matter of getting the money and getting the outreach out there. And it is a great program that Richard Cordray is doing, and it's, it's just a shame that the word is not out more, that people understand there is help out there.